we fragmented the river. And not only are we denying the silt passage downstream, but we've also refrigerated the river because that water is coming from near the bottom of Lake Powell. It's more than 20 degrees colder than the temperature of this river that used to be a silt-laden uh, warm water river. It is now a cold and clear river, uh, hardly a, a pristine stream. And the, the consequences to the native flora and, and fauna are uh, that the balance is, has, has been interrupted severely. Now, the Park Service here in Grand Canyon and other parks and wildlife refuges along the river have done great things in terms they can't really control the flows of water, which are controlled by the Bureau of Reclamation, but they can look after the, the wildlife and the, the, the flora. Uh, and they've gotten rid of the wild burrows and reintroduced the bighorn sheep, which I'm happy to see. You can see up and down the river now, not just in the Grand Canyon, but in many places along the way to Mexico. So as a virgin to this experience, never having been to the Grand Canyon bottom before, but never having run the river, um, I quickly learned that it's so much more than the rapids. The rapids are merely the icing on the cake in this experience. And a trip through the Grand Canyon is an enchanted trip through time, really. And if your guides are any good, um, they show you the layers of sandstone that you go through, beginning with a 300 million year old tapete sandstone at Lee's Ferry, until eventually you get down to uh, 1.7 billion year old Zoroaster granite near the bottom of the canyon. Uh, your, your raft essentially becomes a time machine taking you back through time. Evenings uh, wow. uh, in that time of year when you are allowed to burn campfires are profound. Uh, the least amount of light pollution just about anywhere in the, in the country. I took this photograph by convincing my partying companions to sit still for 51 seconds with my camera on a tripod in the river. And I'm standing in front of the, the fire holding the remote for 51 seconds to expose those stars. So this is what boatmen referred to as the pre-Dambrian era. In other words, the era before dams. It, it, to be precise, this was in 1957 this photograph was taken. And this was the last great flood in the Grand Canyon, and, and the last one we'll probably ever see, unfortunately. But look carefully where that, you see that little uh, overfall there uh, in front of the boat, and, and this is what it looks like today. Um, that driftwood you see on top of that boulder is, in fact, the driftwood left, washed over that boulder from the 1957 flood. And again, ironically, we're looking at what um, many people perceive as a pristine stream because it has that aquamarine, pretty green color, clear water. Uh, but in fact, it's, it's, uh, it's not water that the native fish can tolerate. It's too cold. 